I can't believe it has been several months since my last favorites video. So I suppose that makes this more of a quarterly favorites video. Things that have been making me happy these past few months and only one fail. I have a real mix today, a few cosmetics, a little skincare, some entertainment, and I saved my biggest, most game-changing lifestyle favorite for last. As always, I do have timestamps, product links, and discount codes in the description box below, as well as in a pinned comment to make it easier to find. Let's get the fail out of the way so we can end this video on a high note. I was really excited when e.l.f. launched their new Halo Glow liquid blushes, which look like a dupe for a very popular Charlotte Tilbury product. I was afraid they would sell out right away like so many of their other new launches and I thought it would be a fun video to make so I immediately ordered all four of the blush shades, all three of the highlighters, and the lightest contour shade hoping I could use it as a bronzer. I am a huge fan of a glowy blush and I love cream blushes but I just found these blushes too metallic. They seem to accentuate every single line and wrinkle. I didn't enjoy the texture, the consistency, and they had a really patchy blend. I don't know if you can tell how metallic and patchy that is. And I really didn't find a shade that I enjoyed. Same thing with the highlighters, just a little too metallic for my personal preference. I didn't even open the contour because I could tell it was too cool toned for me to use as a bronzer and I really don't contour my face. I was so disappointed in all these products that I never even made a video. I probably should have just returned them, but I never got around to it. So this is an unpopular opinion. Many people seem to really enjoy these products, but they just didn't work for me, so they are being decluttered and donated to the Women's Center. Now let's get into my favorites. I do have a few cosmetics to share. I am wearing all of them on my face today. As much as I did not enjoy the new e.l.f. blush, I absolutely adore the new Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. I showcased these in a drugstore video a couple of months ago, and these have quickly become favorites. While the e.l.f. blush was metallic and patchy, these just give the softest, prettiest, glowy flush to the cheeks. These come in eight shades, and they are only $5.99. I do have these in two shades, and I am going to show you. I have it in shade 02 Pink Flush and 05 Pretty Peach. And while these are both beautiful on their own, my favorite way to wear these is sort of blended together on my cheeks for a really pretty peachy pink flush of glowy color. I definitely want to pick up more shades. I really love these, the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush is a winner. Another favorite from that drugstore video that I posted a couple of months ago that has quickly become one of my favorite foundations is the Revlon Illuminance Foundation. This is just one of the prettiest foundations I own. Comes in a glass bottle with a pump. There is the consistency. It has a perfect medium coverage, beautiful radiant finish, not overly glowy, it never accentuates the bad stuff, and it is super, super long wearing. And there is the finish. I have it in the shade 213. Now, while I know many YouTubers love this, I have also heard from many of you telling me how much you love it, so this is really a good one. I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't at least briefly mention the BK Beauty Lux Lipsticks but I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because only a week ago, I lip swatched all 11 shades. Suffice to say, I love the moisturizing, creamy formula. I love the elegant packaging with the magnetic component. All the shades are gorgeous. Today, I am wearing one of her original shades. This is the shade Passion. Absolutely one of my favorites. I will link my lipstick swatch party video in the description box below in case you would like to see these lipsticks in action. These are beautiful. The last cosmetic I am sharing with you today and the one I am most excited about is a brand new launch. Sydney Grace with Mary Glitzy Fritzy, the blessed 
eyeshadow palette. How often do we talk about how cosmetic companies are not inclusive of older women? How older women are underrepresented in the media and in advertising campaigns? All too often we see younger women in advertising campaigns, even for products specifically designed for older women. So this is a very special, important, dare I say, groundbreaking launch because a cosmetic company has partnered with an over 60 woman to create an eyeshadow palette. If you aren't familiar with Mary, she is a gorgeous silver sister. She has an amazing YouTube channel called Glitzy Fritzy. Mary has a true love for makeup. She is super talented and she loves eyeshadow, especially Sydney Grace. She even has a series called Sydney Grace Sunday. Sydney Grace is a female owned independent cosmetic company that makes one of the highest quality eyeshadow formulas on the market. And they partnered with Mary to create the palette Blessed. The packaging is stunning. It is cardboard with magnetic closure and a mirror. And I love how it can fold back on itself. I also love the black background with the large white print. You can tell a YouTuber designed this packaging because even my aging eyes can read the shades without my glasses. The formula is superb, velvety, buttery, nicely pigmented, yet super blendable and easy to use and no fallout ever. 15 shades, seven mattes, eight shimmers, and although at first glance it looks quite colorful, there are lots and lots of neutral shades for easy everyday looks. Mary put so much time, energy, creativity, really her whole heart and soul into creating this palette. I will link Mary's launch video in the description box below where she talks about how this palette came to be, how she created and curated these shades, the special story behind each shade name, and she demonstrates 11 stunning looks with this eyeshadow palette. Truly a must see video. video. One of my favorite things about this palette is Mary included this nude, almost skin toned matte. I find shades like this incredibly useful, not only to set my concealer or my eyeshadow primer, blend the edges of my eyeshadow, but it is a perfect shade to mix in with any of these deeper toned mattes to adjust the intensity. Like I said, I find shades like this incredibly useful and I wish they were in every single palette. I also love that instead of a black, which can be a little harsh on mature eyes, Mary included a charcoal gray, which is more flattering and easier to use than a black. There is the charcoal gray. And I love that she named it after one of my very favorite ladies here on YouTube, Mary Ellen After 60. I am wearing this palette today and I wish I had time in this video to show you how I got this easy, everyday, cool, neutral look. But I will show you the four shades that I used for this look. The first one is Be a Blessing, a Champagne Shimmer. Sugar Tiger, a gorgeous, pink shimmer, little bit, sort of a burgundy, and Pita, a perfect cool neutral taupe. Two mattes, two shimmers, and there they are on my fingers, and here they are swatched on my arm. Look at how gorgeous those shadows swatch. And again, here is the look, super, super easy, cool, neutral, natural, everyday eyeshadow look with this very colorful palette. To see this entire eyeshadow palette and the deeper version beautifully swatched and with a variety of looks, I am linking Mary's launch video in the description box below. I am also linking Melissa 55's video where she demonstrates five gorgeous looks. And I'm also linking Heba's video. She demonstrates several looks and you can see how these eyeshadows look on a deeper skin tone. Once again, a huge congratulations to Mary and a very special thank you to Sydney Grace 
for partnering with an over 60 woman. Let's help these palettes sell like hotcakes so we can prove that older women can be powerhouses in the cosmetic industry. You might notice a change in lighting. It started to cloud over yesterday. I lost my natural light, so it is a new day, same makeup. And I have to say, I think my eyeshadow turned out even prettier today. So I wanted to give you another look at how gorgeous those four shades from the Blessed palette look on my eyes. So, so pretty. Anyway, moving on to skincare. I have two skincare favorites to share with you today. I have always been really intrigued by medical microneedling to stimulate collagen production. Medical microneedling is a treatment available in clinic or at home that stimulates collagen production by inducing micro damage at the dermal layer. The dermis then responds to heal this micro damage by getting busy and building collagen. But I have to admit, I was pretty intimidated by all of these sort of automatic medical microneedling dermal pens. So I took baby steps and I purchased a derma roller, which just seemed much less scary. Last summer, I did a video, a Zoom call video with Claudia, where she walked me through step by step on exactly how to medical microneedle using my dermal roller. However, I only wound up using this a couple of times. I just never could get quite comfortable with it. When I was in Paris recently, Claudia gave me her Dr. Pen M8 because she had gotten a new Dr. Pen A67. And we did an entire video on Claudia's channel where she walked me through medical microneedling with my Dr. Pen step by step. Rather than me get deep into microneedling in this video, I will link Claudia's video in the description box below. She really knows her stuff and she is an excellent teacher. Anyway, I was really surprised that I actually found the Dr. Pen easier and more comfortable than the Derma Roller. The other advantage that I think that Dr. Pen has over the Derma Roller is that you use a fresh cartridge of needles every single time. So I think sanitation is just a little simpler with the Dr. Pen. Now, medical microneedling is a monthly treatment. So just last week, I did my first medical microneedling with my Dr. Pen all by myself. Thanks to Claudia's excellent teaching, I felt very comfortable and confident during the treatment process. However, at the end of the treatment, my skin was incredibly red, fire engine red. And I know that can be normal because Claudia's skin got very red, but I didn't experience that level of redness the first time I used it with Claudia. So I actually was a little worried that maybe I used the wrong needle or was too aggressive or overconfident. So right after finishing my microneedling treatment, I applied my Omnilux Red Light LED mask. And I was blown away how much just 10 minutes of my Omnilux mask took the red down immediately. Oh my gosh, I so wish I had taken photos, but I was actually a little freaked out. I was too deep into it, but I promise the results were dramatic. Now, I have been a fan of red light therapy masks for the past several years, but the fact that the Omnilux took that level of redness down so significantly and so quickly was an incredible demonstration of the anti-inflammatory power of LED red light therapy. I do have an older video where I talked about my Aduro LED mask, and I did enjoy that mask very much. Originally, I was super impressed by the fact that I think it has seven or nine different light wave colors for different types of treatment options. But over time, I found I really only used the red or the infrared. So when Omnilux sent me this mask several months ago, I gave my Aduro to my cousin. She has a little bit of acne and I think she's getting more use out of some of the other treatment options. One of the things I love about the Omnilux is that the treatment time is only 10 minutes as opposed to 20 minutes with the Aduro. Now at first I was a little bit worried. I thought perhaps a shorter treatment time might mean less effectiveness. But seeing how quickly it brought my red down really confirmed how powerful 
and effective this mask is with only a 10 minute treatment. I'm even using it on Bosley for his arthritis. And I recently had a comment from an esthetician who suffers from rosacea. And she said that using red light therapy six times a week with green tea, she didn't say what kind of green tea, has significantly reduced her rosacea symptoms. So my two favorite new devices are definitely my Dr. Pen M8 and my Omnilux Red Light LED mask. Now these devices can be a little on the pricey side for sure, but definitely more cost effective than in-office treatments. And I do believe I have discount codes on both of these devices in the description box below. Speaking of Claudia Glows, my trip to Paris to visit Claudia for a week was definitely the highlight of the past few months. Claudia and I met through our YouTube channels and while we FaceTime at least once a week for the past few years and have become very good friends, we had never actually met in person. When I first arrived at Claudia's door, it was instantly easy and natural and wonderful and we had an amazing week together. Now, I had been to Paris about 20 years ago and had virtually gone to every single museum. So this trip wasn't about museum hopping, but we did plenty of sightseeing walks. We did a little shopping. We went out to eat. We played with skincare and we played with makeup and we just enjoyed hanging out together. Now, Claudia is vegan and a certified personal trainer. So I really learned a lot from her. Claudia is a wonderful cook, so we cooked at home quite a bit, but we also explored some wonderful vegan restaurants. All the food was wonderful, and I really didn't miss meat or cheese at all. And Claudia also taught me a very simple strength training exercise plan that is really helping me build strength and balance and just get overall more fit and stronger. One of the highlights of the trip was my visit to Monet's garden at Giverney. Now I had been there years earlier in August, so it was amazing to see it in the spring with all the beautiful spring bulbs. It is a magical garden at any time of year. But the best part of the entire trip was simply spending time with Claudia and getting to know her wonderful husband, Dan, and her sweet fur baby, Sammy. So thank you, Claudia, for being a wonderful friend, a fantastic hostess, and I can't wait until we can hang out again. Our garden is always a favorite, but especially in the spring. When I returned from Paris, I was greeted by our tulips in full bloom, which brings me so much joy after a long, cold winter. And you're going to see here our red bud tree blossomed beautifully. It is amazing how quickly the garden fills in in the spring. These last few weeks have been super busy spring cleaning the garden and getting our annuals planted. The geraniums in the window box remind me of Paris. And here you see I planted three Annabelle hydrangeas under the window boxes. I think they're going to be super, super pretty. The lime green flowers you see are one of my favorite plants called Ladies Mantle. And I love the sweet, white, button-like, daisy-like flowers of the Feverfew. And the peonies. So elegant, so fragrant so gorgeous. The pink one is an old heirloom called Sarah Bernhardt and I'm not sure the name of the white one. As you can see the peonies are coming to the end of their bloom but one of the things I love about the garden is that there's always another plant about to bloom to look forward to. I am working on collecting footage of the garden for a more in-depth garden tour coming soon. Entertainment. Now I have enjoyed several different series and movies over the past few months, but the new Hulu series called A Small Light blew everything else out of the water. It is based on the story of Meep Geese. 
who was the woman who helped hide the Anne Frank family for two years during the Nazi occupation in Amsterdam. The series was produced by National Geographic and was so incredibly well written, well acted, and so very powerful. I simply cannot recommend this series enough. The details of trying to keep eight people hidden and fed during the terrifying Nazi occupation was mind-blowing. And it was also heartwarming and inspiring to learn about the countless people who demonstrated selfless courage during this devastating time. And in spite of the fact that we know the horrific ending for most of the Anne Frank family, as well as six million other Jews, the ending was surprisingly uplifting because Meep Gies, her husband, Otto Frank, and so many others were such courageous and inspiring people. I know this show is going to win tons of awards. It is truly a must-see. And lastly, and my biggest favorite of all, because it has been truly life-changing for both me and my precious 13-year-old fur baby, Bosley. Now, Bosley and I have always loved our long walks together. One of our favorite walks is about a mile away where we have a perfect sunset view over the lake. But as Bosley has gotten older, he has developed some arthritis. And the last few times we took that walk, he was limping so badly on the way home that I actually had to carry him. And he is 25 pounds, so he can get pretty heavy. For the past few months, he really hasn't been able to walk much more than around the block. So in order for me to get any kind of an exercise walk in, I literally have to get in my car and drive away. Because if Bosley sees me taking a walk without him, he goes nuts. And taking a walk without Bosley makes me sad, so I haven't been getting my walks in either. Of course, I am working very closely with my vet. Bosley is now on fish oil. He's on Dasequin. I'm giving him MNM. And I do think the red light therapy is helping. Luckily, Bosley is really not in pain all the time, only if he overdoes it. So we're not quite ready for prescription anti-inflammatories, which can be a little bit hard on the liver and kidneys. Anyway, I knew it was time for a pet stroller. I was shocked to see how many pet strollers there are on the market, literally hundreds, maybe even thousands, ranging in price from $30 to $600 and up. After a lot of research, I purchased a mid-priced jogging pet stroller I really wanted something that would be very sturdy, go over a variety of terrains, and be very comfortable for both of us. It arrived last week. Luckily, it was super easy to put together. Bosley is a sensitive, somewhat timid little mama's boy, so I was a little worried about the process of getting him used to the stroller. So for the first few days, we just kept the stroller near us. I kept it in the house. I would walk Bosley on a leash next to the stroller, and then his best friend, Jimmy the cat, was really curious. And Jimmy kept jumping into the stroller, and I think that made Bosley really curious. Jimmy enjoyed it so much that we put Jimmy in the stroller for a walk, walked Bosley next to it, and then when Bosley got a little tired, we put Bosley in the stroller with Jimmy, and it was smooth sailing from there. So for the last several days, I have been loving our long 45-minute walks together. I will let Bosley walk, I don't know, 10 or so minutes, put him in the stroller for a rest for a while, let him walk for a little bit. So this way, Bosley's getting a little bit more exercise without aggravating his arthritis. And I am getting long, beautiful, 45-minute exercise walks with my best friend, Bosley. I can't begin to tell you how wonderfully life-changing this stroller has been for both me and Bosley. Here is hoping that Bosley and I have several more years together, and I know this stroller is going to make our last years together extra wonderful. If you have stayed till the end of the video, thank you. I really appreciate your time, and I have a little surprise for you. To support the Sydney Grace launch of Glitzy Fritzy's Blessed Eyeshadow Palette, I am doing a giveaway. I will be including both the light and the deeper versions of the palette in the giveaway. If you would like to enter the giveaway, just use the words blessed in your comment. 
I will announce the giveaway verbally in next week's video. Word of warning, sometimes giveaways attract scammers who will impersonate a YouTuber, reply to your comments, say you won something to call them or text them or email them. Unless you hear your name coming out of my mouth, it is a scam. So please be careful. Also, I would love to hear what's making you happy right now. I love the sharing that goes on in the comment box. And with that, have a great day and a wonderful week, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.